डोंट स्पेंड मेजर टाइम ऑन माइनर थिंग्स इन लाइफ डोंट स्पेंड मेजर टाइम ऑन माइनर थिंग्स इन लाइफ मनोज योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ डोंट स्पेंड मेजर टाइम ऑन माइनर थिंग्स माइनर थिंग्स ओके डोंट स्पेंड मेजर टाइम ऑन योर माइनर थिंग्स बिकॉज you will have to always when you whenever you start an activity you should always have the end objective in beforehand because otherwise you will be have you will be going on a wild goose chase now let me give an example from my office my boss he always has a you know plan and whenever he gives something he always has an end objective already designed in his mind and he gives the process steps in such a way that everyone goes and meets finally so that is why he has become very successful in his life and you know though he is he was a junior when he joined he was immediately promoted to senior vp in a short span he is you know 7 years younger to me because he always has the end objective in mind so my dear friends time up quickly not spent you know your time on minor things thank you good very good very good very good Okay, Anup. So your spontaneous topic for the day is the axe forgets, but the tree remembers. Let's see what you have to say on this spontaneous topic. Time starts now. There are times in life when we speak harsh about others. Probably we don't intend to that, but the way we speak is taken it as negative. there are people you have a better objective to achieve by doing that but the other takes it in a very wrong way you wanted to convey a message directly to a friend or a colleague colleague in a very direct way saying that he gets developed and reaches to the next level but the other person takes it so negatively and it hurts him so badly that he is not able to get up from that situation to the next situation so the way we speak it should be clear that we are clear in mind that it should not hurt anyone and we should not forget that we hit a x to someone thank you thank you good 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 okay good subesh your topic is this fool me once shame on you but if you fool me twice shame on me fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me subish your time starts on account of 3 2 1 start <coughs> fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me now mistake to err to miss to have mistake is human right so if you're making a mistake and you are trying to fool someone that time that person will realize it but again if you don't learn from that mistake and you are again repeating it that means you will be fooled again and you are going to be fooled that person would have forgotten you so it's very important that we analyze that now in this in this modern world where there are a lot of things where you can uh, convince other people by just fooling them but once you remember one time you can do it but the next time it cannot be repeated it, it can be repeated of course you can make other fit people fool but what is the purpose of it what is the purpose of making your fool uh, yourself a fool again you will not grow you will not so if you want to grow believe me remember this quote fool me once this means shame on you but fool me twice means shame on me don't repeat the mistakes again thank you okay time up good job good job good job the spontaneous topic for you anindita today is this before you marry a person you should first make them use a computer with slow internet to see who they really are before you marry a person you should make first make them use a, a computer with slow internet to see who they really are on account of 3 2 1 start so guys spending a life with someone is one of the most vital decision of your life which i feel so i am taking time i am not yet married to because i am assessing my partner on various vitals and one of the most important vitals to me is testing his patience why people 
who are able to tackle situation with patience, they can help you with anything. Suppose I am not a patient person, but if my better half is a patient person, he'll help me understand the situation. He'll calm me down in a certain situation and he'll lead me through. So the balance should be maintained. If you are an impatient person, your better half should be a patient person. So remember, guys, before you marry a person, you should first meet first them, use meet a them. computer with slow internet to see who they really are, because that's when you get to know their patience level. I'm Thank up. you. Wrap up. Good. Okay, good, good, good.